Now to a story we call Down to Earth. One of the largest tire disposal landfills in the country is right here in southern Colorado. Now, in recent years, it had become a disaster waiting to happen. But after 14 months of around-the-clock work, it's now safer than ever. And over time, it'll be gone altogether. Here's News First Five, Zach Faxton. Out here, there's a lot of tires. 24 to 30 million tires in a landfill near the El Paso Pueblo County line. Only from a bird's eye view can you really grasp the enormity. Nobody has ever really counted the tires, but we have kept track of the tonnage. For years, this landfill was a haphazard cluster of tire piles. Before you virtually look in east, you've seen no dirt until you left the property and seen actually clear across the interstate. The problem was so bad, the fire marshal said if a fire were to start here, the smoke would close I-25 and the fire would burn for years. But that's all changing. For all the tens of millions of tires that exist here right now, by 2019, they're all supposed to have vanished. That's the directive from state government. Now, if you get up to 2018 and it's not quite there, is the state going to be lenient? The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment Probably so. New ownership plans to grind up the tires and use them as fuel in a huge cement kiln in Pueblo. Incinerating tires in a cement kiln doesn't just get rid of them. It uh, turns it into part of the process of cement manufacturing and becomes a very good fuel in the process. What's beautiful about this is this is probably a 10-year supply for us if we were to start today. Getting rid of the tires is just part of the process. Making the landfill safe from catastrophic fire is another. I didn't really breathe for, for 14 months. That job fell on Ken Kirkpatrick, building roads between tire piles so if fire starts in one, it won't spread to another. I don't really see that big of a nightmare. I, I lose no sleep over it. By decade's end, this eyesore on the plains could transition back to its natural state with remnants put to good use. In El Paso County, Zach Thaxton, News First 5. By the way, the energy boss in charge of the project tells News First 5 that ground up tires are so efficient as a fuel source that they burn as hot as coal and put off less sulfur and ash. The average tire, by the way, contains about two quarts of oil. Interesting story. Mm -hmm.